community. So this morning, we're going to talk about um, COPD, which is uh, one of the uh, ailments that uh, 11 million people deal with each and every day. We have uh, Tony Bolhurst here from New Hanover Regional Medical Center talking about this disorder. First, let's just start with right off the, right off the bat. Explain what COPD is for folks at home that don't know what this is. Well, COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's kind of an umbrella term that includes asthma, chronic bronchitis, and emphysema. But today we're basically just talking about chronic bronchitis and emphysema. That's a serious lung disease that over time makes it hard to breathe and it affects millions of people with lifelong disabilities. I was going to say, how different is this than, say, just your run-of-the-mill asthma? Well, asthma can be, can be controlled with a bronchial dilator. A lot of times the dilators that we use for COPD, it helps, but it doesn't prevent the damage in the lungs. Okay, and as far as the symptoms go, you know, people that may have asthma that may think, you know, but well, this is a little bit worse than what I usually feel. Can that be a telltale sign that they may not be dealing with asthma? It could actually be COPD? Well, your physician would probably be able to tell you more. They, you would need to have a pulmonary function test. So what they would do with the test, they would tell you, one, if you have COPD, and two, to what degree. There's four stages of COPD. It's a mild, moderate, severe, and most severe. So with that test, they'll be able to determine if it's asthma or if it's COPD and then how to treat it. And I know the good thing is there are treatments readily, readily, readily he says in English, readily available mm -hmm. for folks that suffer with this. Oh yes, yeah, there's plenty of medications out there uh, that can help. Um, the best thing to do is get to a pulmonologist or to your primary care physician and get the proper treatment. And it seems like all the other lung ailments that, that you can have, smoking very closely tied with this, correct? Yeah, 85 to 90 percent of all COPD cases involve cigarette smoking. So it's big. Uh, the environmental pollution, uh, the long-term air pollution also plays a role in it. Uh, what we breathe in every day, whether it's at work or at home, chemicals, gases, fumes, they all can contribute to COPD. Yeah, it just leads you to, again to say, I mean, if, if, you, if you haven't started smoking, don't. And if you have, you should stop. We're going to come back after this.